Hi, I'm with Andrew Munich, Regional Sales Director for Middle East and Africa for Secure Issuance Business of HID Global. So do you want to tell me a little bit about what you're showcasing at Zytex uh, this year? Yes, first of all, thanks, thanks, Stephen, for the opportunity to, to talk a bit about HID and our participation at um, uh, Zytex Global. So we've got, uh, we've got a booth, um, which is in Hall, um, hall 5, um, A15, A uh, where we will be, uh, we've got three business use units uh, present on the stand. We've got EAT with their biological um, uh, biometric solutions. We've got identity access management, which is showcasing HID safe. And then as you right, rightly mentioned, um, I'm from the secure issuance business unit. And there we're showcasing um, some of our most popular printers, I would say, for this region. We've got our leading retransfer printer, which is the HDP 6600. Um, we've got, a, which is a lot spoken about, uh, the HID element laser engraver that we're showcasing at um, Jitex for, for the first time. We've also got a, a self-service kiosk, which I, which I find is going to be very interesting and it's already gaining a lot of traction from the people that are w walking around. And then the other end of the scale, we've got our Inkjet uh, um, 1000 printer, which is with the Inkjet technology, uh, which is a very simple, uh, cost-efficient printer for, you know, for basically your ID badges, etc. So yeah, we are, we are, we've got a quite wide range of, of, of uh, card personalization uh, and printers that we are showcasing and we're hoping to get a lot of, um, as I mentioned, traction from, from this uh, event. Don't you think digital solutions are now going to replace all this physical security like badges? Very much so. And, and, I, and I think when it, when it comes to HID, we, um, you know, we, we're more than just card personalization. Obviously, with all the other business units involved, that is something that we are looking at um, in the future. But I think when it comes to Middle East Africa, which is a very unique um, type of market, um, I think we're going to be in this. We're going to be in this space for for some time, for some time still, especially when it comes to the African portion of the market. So we quietly confident that you know we we've still got a place to uh, play when it comes to this market. How have you been impacted by all the supply chain issues and all the logistics problems that we have <laughs> seen this year? Geneva, very good question. Um, and you can see a lot of my hair has been <laughs> lost because of that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we've been heavily impacted by the constraints, not only HID, but uh, everyone in the industry. You know, we've had our, our uh, raw material constraints, our, our chip constraints, um, but I think what, what it's all about is about managing the expectations. And I think that's where we as HID have done extremely well. We've informed, we've kept the market informed, we've, we've been kept our, our partners informed and our end customers. We've been able to forecast um, uh, more heavily so than in the past as to what the, where the market is going in terms of what their requirements are. And that has allowed us to still be a, a major supply even though we've had a lot of constraints, yes. So what are the trends that is impacting uh, the industry that you are in, which is security and identity? Um, in terms of, uh, I think... What do we need to watch out for over the next 12 months? I think that, you know, it, it's, a, it's a changing market. Mm. We, 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 we're forever seeing um, changes and new requirements uh, from, from our end users. I mean, we, we, we're market driven. So we, we try and supply what our partners, who we see as our customers and the end customer wants. So we are driven by what their requirements are. So in terms of security features, we will continuously try and keep up with what the, what the demands are and lead um, as we are doing at this point in time. Some of the other changes that we are going to see that's affecting um, the market heavily at the moment are, are as I've mentioned, um, price increases. So we're going to see a lot of that also changing the, the, the players in the market and where we decide to focus our, our attention moving ahead. Do you think this whole shift to the hybrid work model has had an impact on your business? Um, I believe it has, but not as much as uh, some people think. So. I think we will see that coming into play, but not, not at this point in time now. Thanks a lot for your time, Andrew. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you Appreciate very much. It. Okay.